Good morning, y'all. Um, I'm trying to film on my Nikon, so I decided to take y'all along. Um, I'm going to fix me a little short breakfast, short breakfast, small breakfast, and then go on um, a short little walk since I'm home by myself. My husband is at work. Um, I don't know if I've ever filmed this early in the morning. It's um, early for me because usually I get up around 8-ish and um, rush to get ready and get to work for 8.30. Thank God my first school is like right around the corner. But I am not going anywhere today. I'm not technically on maternity leave or anything like that. But the school year ends this week on Thursday. And so I'll probably go in tomorrow or so and finish up some last minute things. And then that'll be it. Um, I'm not forcing myself to do anything. There's nothing really to do. Uh, the students at my school are gone. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to fix me some breakfast. Probably some fruit. That's what I'm thinking. Something light and plenty of water before I get out in this Louisiana heat. And y'all stay tuned because this is going to be my 36 week update. <laughs> enough but um this is me y'all and some sweatpants and tennis shoes and like i said it was laundry in the hallway and i'll go ahead and show y'all my belly now because i will not be stripping down in the outside so that is the belly shot i'm actually 37 weeks in one day um, but this it will serve to update y'all to week 36. And this is about how I looked all last week. My Okay, so we are out in the yard. Say good morning. I'm saying the plan is just to monitor her weight. Um, I have another appointment on Friday, which I'll be 37 weeks and four days, I guess, um, where we will just have a regular appointment um and then she said at 38 weeks um we'll do another ultrasound because it could just be you know a pound off or two and i'm not a small girl so i think they kind of overestimate the sizes when it comes to the size of the baby when it comes to the mamas you know um at the appointment my blood pressure and everything was good. I have picked up about six more pounds, um, which I'm contributing some of it to this hair. <laughs> My nurse fell out laughing when I said that. But um, I was also one centimeter dilated. Um, so, what else? I was one centimeter dilated. Gained a few pounds, blood pressure was good. I did notify them that I'm pretty sure I've been having contractions. But I guess it's just Braxton Hicks because they're not like getting um, closer together or anything. They're just pretty random. So they weren't concerned about that or anything like that. Cause I think it's about that time, you know. And that was Thursday. So husband treated me to a Manny and Petty because I was feeling down after all that. Um, and we had our baby shower on Sunday. And it was so beautiful and so wonderful. I do not have any footage of the baby shower um that i actually filmed with my camera so i'm not sure if you guys will get to see any footage but i will do my best to post some um pictures and if you're not following me on instagram then um you may not see them 
but my Instagram is graced face G R A C E D F A C E. So you can follow me on there and um, look at the few pictures that I have. I should be getting more because my awesome photographer friend um, took pictures during the event and is going to post some things. So we had a dance party just like I wanted. My comedian was awesome. DJ was spectacular. Um, we had a few games, none that were, you know, too traditional. No paper, no pens. And um, got lots of gifts. Um, lots of well wishes, lots of beautiful cards, gift cards. It was awesome. The food. My mama, my godmother, um, my sorority sister, who's my pen. Um, and some other special people, including my baker, who was also very awesome, did a wonderful job. Ciao. All these cars driving by, I hope y'all can hear me. But they put their foot off of being that food, you know what I'm saying? It was so good. So, um, everything went really, really great with that. We are organizing all the new stuff in her nursery which is holding me back from a nursery tour but i promise we'll get in there okay y'all so i couldn't figure out in my hospital bag video why my bag was so full right and then pregnancy brain turned off and i realized that they told us don't try to pack everything in one bag because they said you know some people like to pack um more than others so if you're one of those people then pack a labor bag and then have a separate bag in the car with all the stuff you need when you stay and you're recovering and whatnot so that's why my bag was so full so that helped and thanks to those who suggested some things i may have forgotten for me and for husband for the bag i'm currently bouncing on my Labor, birth ball, bouncy ball, exercise ball, yoga ball, whatever you want to call it. Just getting this pelvis loose, kind of rocking and bouncing a little bit, not too much. And um, after this, I need to go ahead and pack um, or transfer everything into Nia's diaper bag because we now have two. And I didn't have any before, which I knew that somebody's going to get me some. And I got some cute bags. Both of them are cute. And um, we were still sorting through these clothes. Some of them. And other things. But um, that is that. Um, cravings. Cravings have been consistent. Cherries are finally out. I don't know if I told y'all that. But finally got some cherries and they are just wonderful hitting the spot. Still love watermelon. Not craving ice cream sandwiches as much. Um, gaining the seven pounds may have um, <laughs> persuaded me otherwise that I need to crave some other stuff. Um, symptoms. My acne is kind of like back with a vengeance. It has slowed down a little bit, but it's like back with the vengeance. Like I said, I've been having some Braxton Hicks stuff going on. Um, my pelvic pain is still under control. It's more on the left side. And once I thought about it, she's over there. She's heavy. She's heavier than the fibroid, of course. So if she's on the left side all the time, then that's why my left side, it still has a little bit of pain and the right side doesn't have any. Um, and this just started this week, so I'm kind of giving y'all TMI for week 37, but I've started losing mucus. So I've read that some people's mucus plug comes out all at once. I wish they would find, um, a better name for that besides mucus plug. Um... But that is what folks call it. But some people lose theirs all at once. And some people, theirs kind of gradually flows out. And um, yesterday morning, I got a little bit. 
I got a little bit throughout the day and then this morning a little bit more came. So um it's the thick stuff they were talking about. Um mine is colorless, so there's no bloody show with it, which I'm kind of glad of because I think at this point right now blood would kind of freak me out because I haven't seen it. So I just need to, you know, be eased into that whole thing again. Um, My hands and feet are sometimes swollen. I have stopped wearing my ring. I've continued to leave it off because I do not want it to get stuck. Um, my shoes are getting tighter. My nose actually hurts to the touch most days. Um, and it is also widening. My skin overall is darker. Most especially in those kind of tuck skin areas. Like um, your armpits around the breasts. The neck. Those, I call them tuck skin areas because the skin is kind of tucked under something. But yeah. Um... My skin is um, noticeably darker all over to me and definitely in those areas. Um, to me, my lips look a little bit more full. Just something that happens. Um, and this is another TMI. But um, lately, as I've been feeling more pressure down in the pelvic area, I've also had um, more bowel movements so constipation is like the opposite now like I go I mean you know how people who eat really healthy and like take vitamins and eat lots of fiber and all that they talk about going multiple times like I know I ain't eating no more fiber than what I've been eating but I'm like two a days now and that's not typical for me Ever, no matter you know how healthy I'm eating once a day is usually like wow you know <laughs> I'm just one of those people that doesn't have to go every day on the usual and so twice a day is like oh my lord Jesus a change is coming so um, I'm hoping that that's a good sign that you know um, I'm getting closer to delivery and all that kind of stuff and you know a healthy delivery and I'm just to the point now where I'm just like you know I was in a bad place last week I'm not gonna lie um but I'm just in a place now where I'm just like you know you trust God for everything else just trust him that you know um everything will work out I mean I'm not gonna try and um rush this anymore people are rushing it enough for me you know when people see me and they see you know this large belly and my belly's um you know dropping some it's kind of more uh, oval shaped than it is round um you know people see me in the store who don't even know me and they're like oh you're ready it looks like you're ready now let's let you go in front of us in the line thank you but i'm not ready <laughs> but um i think I'm, I'm just i'm at the point now today I've decided to just, you know, let it go. Let go and add a D, as my husband would say, which equals let go and let God. So, I'm just ready to um, accept what he allows to happen and know and trust that, um, you know, this is just a part of the journey. And it's a blessing to carry a child this long. On Friday, if anything has changed with the fact that this mucus is coming out, um, cause you know, everybody's different, but maybe that means I'm dilating. I don't know. Maybe that just means the thing just going to fall out. I don't know. But either way, um, I will update y'all on that Friday appointment pretty soon. Bye y'all.